Good afternoon, everyone. Before we start, in the spirit of reconciliation, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of country throughout Australia, their connections to land, sea and community, and from where I speak to you today, on the beautiful lands of the Ngunnawal people. I respect their continuing culture and the contribution they make to the life of this city and this region. We pay our respects to their elders, past and present, and extend that respect to all Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander peoples today. Thank you for joining us for the Arms Award Ceremony. What a great meeting it's been so far. Many thanks to the conference organisers, the amazing arms exec team, and all those involved in organising and delivering and sponsoring the 2022 conference. I know how much work goes into these meetings, and I'm honoured to be standing in today for Tanya as MC at this Arms Award Ceremony. So let's get started. First, I would like to present the Janet Dibley Award. The JDL Award recognises individuals who have made an outstanding contribution to the enhancement of re research management sector throughout Australasia and Singapore. The subcommittee of the Arms Board were unanimous in their decision to support this nomination. The individual has established a broad and enduring network of collaborators across Australasia and globally, both as a researcher and as a practicing research management professional. One referee quoted, the recipient has been a leading figure in the professionalization of research management in Australia, consistently championing the sector and the contribution it makes in advancing the research enterprise. Another saying, the recipient has become a leading contributor and advocate for the research management community having served on the Board of Arms in the role of President and being instrumental in the rollout of the hugely successful Arms Accreditation Program. If you haven't guessed, the recipient of the 2022 Janet Dibley Award is Professor Moira Clay. Thank you so much. I am so humbled to receive an award in Janet Dibley's name. Janet has been a role model for me since I moved into research management some 23 years ago. So very, very sincere thank you to ARMS for this honour. I'd also like to thank Renier for your nomination, for your support and for your friendship over so many years. Thanks, Ren. Thank you also to all the researchers, research organisations that I have worked with over the years. It's been such a privilege to help you make a difference to the world. To my wonderful team, thank you for who you are, all you do and your commitment to finding solutions. You truly are the best. To my friends, to my family and particularly my darling husband Paul, your love and support means the world, so thank you. Finally, to all the research managers out there, past, present and future, thank you. You continue to inspire, motivate and make me a better person. Never underestimate your role as a catalyst for growth, development and impact. Thank you again. Thank you, Moira, for um, a well-deserved award. Moving on to the next award, um, this is for our Fellows of Arms. These awards are for individuals who have made an enduring and substantial contribution to research management as a practitioner, mentor, trainer, or advocate in the research management profession. This year's recipient has demonstrated an enduring and substantial contribution to the profession as an advocate serving on the arms board for two terms and as a training fellow delivering expert content knowledge for our accreditation program. The recipient's passion for the profession and willingness to mentor others is outstanding. And for these reasons, Miss Connie Kiley from Deakin University is our 2022 Fellow of Arms. I'd like to congratulate her. Now, unfortunately, due to difficult circ family circumstances, Connie is unable to accept her award in person, but she has sent some, some beautiful words for me to say on her behalf. Please forgive me if I struggle through them. I feel incredibly, incredibly honoured to be accepted as a Fellow of Arms. Some of you may know the reason that I'm not here to accept the award personally is because my sister lost her battle with leukaemia late last week. As a family, we are also, also very grieved and this has served to make me even more passionate to serve the research community, knowing that one day a brilliant researcher supported by one of us will find a cure or better treatment so others won't lose their battle. 
I love our community, both ARMS and other INORMS members. That we collaborate and support each other, I think, is not something experienced in many professions. And I feel proud to be able to make a contribution. <laughs> Very heartfelt words. Thank you, Connie. Moving forward to our next awards. The current arms board have formally amended the guidelines for the Janet Dibley Awards. These amendments allow past recipients to automatically become fellow of arms. We acknowledge here today all past recipients of the JDL who will now be officially listed as fellows of arms on our honours list. These include Dr. Mark Hockerman, Dr. Campbell Thompson, Ms. Anne Cronin, Professor Ren Yi, Ms. Louise Fleck, Professor Gail Morris, and the late Dr. Paul Taylor. Paul's parents were thrilled to hear that Paul is to be made a fellow of arms, and his mother Pam's response was, that is amazing news. It is mind blowing to us, his family, that that arms still revere his contribution to research management. Again, our arms exec will be sending off the award to them after this meeting. So we're moving on. Our next awards are the RMIT Paul Taylor Awards for Excellence in Research Management Practice. These awards honor the life of Dr. Paul Taylor, an exemplary, well-regarded and inspiring research management professional who sadly passed away suddenly in 2018. Dr. Taylor was highly regarded internationally for his thoughtful and determined leadership on the responsible conduct of research. We wish to thank the RMIT University as the official sponsors of these awards. And I will be presenting on behalf of the RMIT University. So we are pleased to sponsor these awards. And this year we will be supporting four category one awards this category recognises the excellence in research management practice through innovation in research management, leading change, providing quality service and working smarter. The recipients for the 2022 awards include Namon Tulsi from Flinders University. Thank you very much, uh, Hannah. I am extremely grateful to receive this award. The award was in relation to an intensive grant development exercise during lockdown March 2020 to May 2020, and it resulted in some outstanding results such that Flinders ended up third in the country on an ARC special research initiative round. Um, I led that grant development strategy, but of course it, this, it, it was very much a team affair. I'd like to thank Deputy Vice-Chancellor of Research, Professor Robert Saint, Professor Penny Edmonds of the College of Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences, Professor Peter Monteith, also of the College of uh, Humanities, Arts and Social Sciences, Simon Brennan, the Director of Research Development and Support, uh, and, and colleagues, of course, within the RDS team and elsewhere within Flinders and externally. Uh, I particularly want to thank the academics that um, went through uh, 18 applications. I worked with them across lockdown. Um, we're all thrilled with the result, and I'm particularly thrilled to be recognised with this award today, and I thank ARMS and RMIT. It just reminds me of, a, of a, a presentation I did a while ago in terms of being bold, be respectful and aware, back yourself and back your colleagues and have a go. You never, never know and be the change that you want to see. So thank you very much. Thank you. Our second recipient category, Excellence in Research Management Practice has been won by the Faculty of Medicine and Health Research and Development Unit at the University of Sydney. George Karyanopoulos is here to accept the award on behalf of the team. Over to you, George. Thank you very much, Hannah. And uh, look, I'd like to, on behalf of the FMH R&D team, I'd like to thank very much RMIT, acknowledge the late Dr. Paul Taylor, and thank the ARM subcommittee for this award. So, and this lovely medal, which we will be touring around our multi-precinct sites. Um, this has really been the culmination 
of two and a half years from work from the people who are mentioned up on the slide, as well as people who have been previously part of the team and, and left. When the faculty set out to create an FMH research and development team, uh, I, I don't think we could ever aspire that we would have been here today receiving this award. So very grateful for the, all of the support that's been received from our executive uh, dean, Professor Robin Ward, Janine Richards, our director of faculty strategy and planning, our deputy dean, Professor Mark Rees, our associate deans, Professor Matt Christie and Professor Sarah Lewis. Um, very, very pleased to be here and very appreciative of receiving this award on behalf of the team. And my sincere thanks to all of the efforts uh, and everyone in the team that they've undertaken to, to get us to this point. Thanks. Thank you, George. Our third recipient category is Excellence in Research Management Practice. Sam Rowland, on behalf of the Research Outputs team at the University of Melbourne, is here to accept the award. Thanks so much, Hannah. Uh, I've accepted this award, award today on behalf of Research Outputs team members past and present who are Alison Timms, Amin Kaliki, Helen Harris and Janelle Christie, Jen Ree, Jackie Randall, Sally Tape, Sarah Kirby and Sonia Sharma. We couldn't have done it without the brilliant leadership of Timothy Flanagan, Justin Shearer, Donna McCrosty, Gwenda Thomas and Jola Gorris. We'd also like to give a special mention to our friends across the institution who have helped us so much in our inaugural year, particularly uh, Jim Lewis and Tom Devereaux. And finally, thank you so much to RMIT and ARMS. We couldn't be more thrilled with our amazing award. It's a wonderful initiative for people who, like us, who are doing that more unseen work. And we're looking forward to trying to win another one. So thank you, and hopefully we'll see you again next year. Seems like a very cunning plan. <laughs> The fourth recipient category of excellence in research management practice, um, Susie Ryan on behalf of the faculty research support team at the University of Melbourne is here to um, receive this award. Over to you, Susie. Thank you very much, Hannah. Uh, on behalf of the 24 remarkable research support professionals part of this award, we're delighted, honoured and humbled to receive this uh, 2022 uh, RMIT Paul Taylor Award for Excellence in Research Management Practice in the category of Leading Change. Um, a big thanks to ARMS and the subcommittee who uh, selected us and to RMIT and our sincere appreciation and gratitude to the supportive line managers or all those involved, uh, providing the space and opportunity for us to self-organise, try, experiment and grow. Uh, we came together around a shared vision back in 2020 um, of how we could leverage our diverse strengths from different faculties and the Central Research Office to provide better and more equitable sorts of support for our ARC, DECRA and future fellowship applicants. Uh, this award recognising leading change for building a new way of working together and delivering what is now considered a business as usual program reflects the change to the research support landscape at the University of Melbourne, not just in the support offering, but in the individual growth experienced by all involved and everyone's drive, determination, effort and valuable contributions to make this happen. So thanks again. And remember, silos are just illusions and cooperation is powerful. So start a conversation, reimagine and begin to realise what is possible. Thanks, Susie. An excellent speech. And I, I um... I, I, I liked hearing the cockatoo in the background there supporting your, your speech. <laughs> you obviously supported everything you've done. Um, so congratulations to all the Paul Taylor Award recipients and thank you for all the work you do for our profession. Um, I think we sometimes forget just how much work we do and the support that we actually give. And um, we often don't get thanked for it, but um, I think we do recognise just how hard we work and it's lovely to see that these RMIT awards are given to these hardworking teams. So we've got through to the end of this um, award ceremony a little bit faster because we were unable to, to catch some of our award um, winners. So finally, as we close off this award ceremony, we're very pleased to announce that our award ceremony in 2023 will be an in-person meeting and aligning with our flagship conference in Sydney. So don't forget to be there or be square, as they say. We encourage all members to apply for these awards as these are critical 
in not only demonstrating the impact of the profession has and makes towards the research endeavour, but also celebrating the importance of all research management professionals. Thank you everyone for attending this afternoon. Join us again tomorrow for the virtual exhibition, which starts online at 8 a.m. and in the auditorium at 11 a.m. for the next keynote presentation from Amber McEwen. Have a lovely evening, everyone. <laughs>